Uh, I didn't even, I can't even talk. It's currently 1.01 a.m. I would much rather be sleeping right now for the first time all week. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. All right, so you saw my last video where I worked 96 hours on Paul. Did pretty well, link up here. So we're going to top that a little bit because this week I'm working 168 hours in a row on call, which I don't even know what I'm gonna do, but I polled the audience last time and everybody said I should film this whole entire week. So here's the seven days straight on call, Monday at 7 a.m. through Monday at 7 a.m. the following week. 168 hours on call, let's see what happens. So, just finished day one, a uh, pretty crazy day I might add. We did two prostatic artery embolizations this morning for PAEs, which you saw in my last video or two videos ago. I went in depth explaining it, I'll link up here. So I did two of those, then we had a bleeder come in, well possible bleeder, I guess the correct term of that would be possible hemorrhage. So did a quick angiogram. There was no bleed. So we just stented the area that we thought was might be bleeding and uh, got out of Dodge. So it is now 6.20 p.m., which actually isn't that late, and I'm going home. Now, who the heck knows what's gonna happen overnight? Probably get a million pages. Probably have to come back in the hospital. And I'll probably be dead tired the rest of the week, but who knows? Let's see what happens. Well, that didn't last very long, now did it. It's about 8 o'clock p.m. on the same day, showered shave my face and now we're back at the hospital for an emergency let's hope I don't stay up too late how you doing all right so it is 11 p.m now just finished that case you probably can't see me but let me find some light all right so just got home. I uh, had an emergency bleed case that I had to do. It's 11 p.m. right now. Literally going to walk home, go to bed, and wake up at like 5 a.m. tomorrow. Probably be a little tired. I have a huge tips and portomesenteric thrombosis case in the morning, so that is going to be a doozy on little sleep. So check in the morning. It is officially day two. Still currently hanging on. Um, I didn't get called in last night. And uh, yeah, we'll see what happens today. Also, what I realized, so I'm talking with my tech who's in my room. So we stay in the same room the whole week. So for me, I'm in room two and that is the call room. And I have the same tech all week. And what I found out is the techs who are on call are on call the entire week with us, which is crazy. And, and it's arguably worse sometimes for them because they have to cover neuro cases as well, which I don't have to do that obviously. So if a stroke comes in, they have to cover that and no one relieves them all week. So the whole seven days they're on call with me. So that actually makes me excited in a way because you have someone like, you know, experiencing the same misery you do because sometimes call can be brutal and misery loves company. So let's bring it. At least I have a friend to roll with while I'm on call. So that's that. I'm gonna take some cases, see how it goes. And it is pouring down rain outside, like hurricane season, hurricane session, something going on out there. I haven't even been outside, but people are like soaking wet walking around the hospital, which means I don't wanna go outside. So 
stay here. Hopefully the rain will stop by the time I leave, or maybe I'll do another case, get some more reps in, and get out of here soon. And hopefully not come in in the middle of the night. Oh. Uh, I didn't even, I can't even talk. I didn't even vlog yesterday. I don't think I did, but I can't remember if I did or not, but it's been crazy hectic all till late last night. Um, I did a ton of procedures yesterday. I probably finished about 8 p.m. I started at 8 a.m. Then I was up all night dealing with a patient that we had to admit and a possible urgent slash emergent case that was going to go, but we didn't end up doing it even though I was up all night anyways. Sorry, I am probably haven't had any. This is all I've had to drink so far. This much, all day. It's probably good for my kidneys. Um, we crushed a whole bunch of cases today. A uterine artery embolization. No way, we didn't do that. Y90 mapping, a Y90 and a taste today. And I'll follow that up with a full day of liver uh, tumor embolizations tomorrow. I'm gonna go home right now because wifey made a nice home cooked meal and I hope I don't get called in because I gotta get some sleep tonight going into the weekend and a long day tomorrow on call. So this is day four now. Three more to go. Oh my, I'm halfway. I just realized that I'm over halfway now. So make it to tomorrow. It's all downhill from here. And yeah, I'm gonna go home and eat. Hopefully sleep, shower, and relax. Because I deserve it. See you tomorrow. So it's 7 a.m. I'm dead. I got no sleep last night because I kept getting paged about everything. And I have been trying to film when I wake up and get paged, but turning on the camera has been really difficult lately when it's that early. And uh, it's pouring down rain today. So I took an Uber on the way to work today. I keep saying today because I'm so tired and have no other words, but we have four cases, long cases, liver tumor embolization cases today. So we'll see how it goes. It is currently day five. All right, so I just got back from the floor. I saw my patients uh, that we did procedures on yesterday. We always stand around on the patients who had the most advanced procedures or the most serious procedures to make sure they're doing okay afterwards. I was up all night dealing with a transfer patient. Uh, we cover a whole bunch of different hospitals around New York City. We're at the main hospital and anytime one of our branch hospitals has a critical patient, they'll call us to get them transferred over here so that we can do our procedures. Because a lot of these smaller hospitals don't have all the equipment we do here. And uh, yeah, so I was dealing with that to the wee hours in the morning. Probably didn't end up going to bed till about 2 a.m. And that was after you know my fourth long 15 hour procedure day. And now I did not feel guilty taking an Uber to work today because it's pouring down rain and I'm running on no sleep. And I have a long day today filled with four embolization procedures, so I'll be on my feet at least till 6 or 7 p.m. So maybe this weekend will be less busy. I don't know, but we're over the hump. One, two, three-ish more days left. And what is going on, everybody? It is now Saturday and we are back at work. Haven't gotten much sleep last night and I think I don't even remember what I even like what part of the video I'm on right now all I know is I don't think I filmed anything yesterday because it was like insanity and the night before it was insanity I just did cases all day long I just did cases all day long um stayed up here until like the wee hours of the night and then I went home and the last two nights I've been getting paged about pretty much everything from patients needing stool softener to just a heads up that we're getting a CT on a patient that might be bleeding, which, you know, I don't really want to be bothered by that stuff in the middle of the night. Basically, if it's not an emergency, 
you know, don't call me. But you don't really get any full night's sleep while you're on call. I think Monday night was the only time I wasn't interrupted one time. And every day since then, I've been procedures all day long. And today, I don't have any procedures scheduled. I think there will probably be some added on procedures today uh, because we need to get a few done this weekend. But I'm going to go see and round on all of the cases we did this week, like TIPS patients, thrombectomy, thrombolysis patients, um, that kind of stuff. So I'm going to see all those patients, round on some of the drains we placed yesterday, make sure they're doing okay, and uh, we'll go from there. Also, I realize I haven't actually kind of given you all how our call is structured here. So I know you see this thing, it's like 168 hours on call, and you're like, how the heck is he even doing that? And so for short, I don't really know, but we basically are scheduled here to do procedures all day long in the morning. So anywhere from seven or 8 a.m. all the way up until the cases are done. So sometimes five, six, 7 p.m. and then we'll do some inpatient add-on stuff after that. Then I have the pager all night and I get paged about pretty much anything to do with interventional radiology and sometimes not to do with interventional radiology. You don't really ever get sleep through the night. Then I come in the next day to a full day of procedures and repeat the process and especially about seven days. So I am on call the full seven days. I'm not in house the full seven days. I think the last time I did the 96 hour video on call, people are like, how does he stay in the hospital that long for four days or whatever, but we don't. And the beauty about being on call is our hospital will pay for your Uber to and from home to the hospital and back if you have to go in overnight, which is pretty cool because I don't want to walk the streets of New York City in the middle of the night. But yeah, so it's 106 hours straight on call. So anything that happens throughout the evening after normal working days goes to me and I deal with from any of the hospitals around this area that are in our health system. So that's why I'm pretty exhausted. I'm actually, so when I wake up, I'm super tired and then I have my coffee and then I just start going. So like right now I'm fine, but and this is day six now. I don't know how I'm doing it, but I think you just like adapt. I don't know. I'll probably crash on like Sunday night, but well, I'm still on call Sunday night. Maybe I'll crash on Monday. Anyways, I'm gonna go see some patients and hopefully this day isn't too long today. So I was resting comfortably in bed and I was actually relaxing because if I haven't mentioned it's Saturday and you know, I finished a, an emergent GI bleed today, rounded on the last patients and went home at like five or six o'clock or whatever. Got to rest on the couch, watch some Netflix. I basically was like falling asleep on the couch. Took an Uber straight to the hospital. It's currently 1.01 AM, saw the patient. We're about to go drop some catheters. I would much rather be sleeping right now for the first time all week, but what can you do? Does anybody else just get used to the sound? I know every nurse out there probably just completely tunes that out. And it's not bright outside as you can see because I was just in a procedure until about 6.30 a.m. and it is currently 7 a.m. right now and I'm finally going home and apparently I'm supposed to be just continue to be on call all day today, somehow. I'm going home now because last night was literally insane. So I slept for about four or five hours and luckily I have probably the best resident ever who saw that I was up all night and offered to take the pager for me this whole morning so that I could get some semblance of sleep. Which is great, even though I still checked the pager because it was going off all morning and things were still happening with the patient from overnight. So I haven't really gotten much sleep. It is now Sunday. It's my last day of the seven days or 168 hours straight on call. I have to write a few notes today, follow up on some patients, dictate the study from last night, tie up some loose ends, and hopefully there's no emergent cases tonight and I can just make it through tomorrow morning and I can just turn my phone on silent the rest of the next week and not have to deal with any of this stuff. I'm so ready for this week to be done. 
but it's actually surprising how much your body can take or how much your body can run on no sleep. I was starting to lose it for a little bit last night, but then, you know, four or five hours of sleep, woke up feeling like crap, and now I'm back. Somehow. And just like that, it is Sunday at 6 p.m. and I'm getting the heck out of here. You can probably tell how tired I am. I haven't slept in a while, but I survived. Well, technically, I'm not actually done with call, but I'm just hoping and anticipating that I won't get called in tonight because I just don't think I can handle that right now. But anyways, let me know if you like this kind of video. Uh, I know I didn't show too much medicine stuff, but let me know in the comments below if you want me to do this next time I'm on call. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Otherwise, see you all on the next video.